Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works aromatherapy, let me show you the label here, aromatherapy rapid candle review. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. So you guys, today's going to kind of be a little mini rapid review. All the candles I'm talking about right now that I've been burning actually very recently, which is why I'm doing a review on them, I have reviewed in the past. However, over the past month or so, I um, I really haven't been trying any new candles. There's nothing that's been, you know, super appealing to where I feel like I've just had to go out and buy it um, from Bath and Body Works or Yankee um, or even online. Sometimes I'll do Kringle orders or Colonial or Homeworks. Um, so I wanted to share with you what I've been burning most recently. And I feel like all three of these are very fitting for spring season, even though it's still technically winter and there's snow on the ground out where I live. Um, but I know a lot of us are burning kind of spring type fragrances. So I want to do kind of an updated version slash, you know, my thoughts of these ones and kind of the strength and which ones are the stronger ones and which ones are the weaker ones. I only have three. Um, I would love one day to do a haul on all the aromatherapy candles at Bath and Body Works. Um, Maybe one day I'll do that. But for now, you're getting three of my absolute favorite candles from Bath & Body Works from their Aroma Therapy um, collection. Let's dive into it. I'm going to start with the one that is the lightest, has the lightest throw, kind of the weakest scent, but it's my favorite of all three. And that is, they all have the same lids, that is Comfort, which is Vanilla Patchouli. I do have a review of the body care from this collection from like a year and a half ago when they kind of revamped the whole aromatherapy theme, but I've been burning this and you guys, I love it. I have the wallflower. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Very, very calming, very, very um, light kind of in its own way, but still has a beautiful scent. Let me read you the notes. I guess it's self-explanatory, but it says comfort, vanilla and patchouli, vanilla absolute, which calms the mind and encourages relaxation and patchouli oil, which creates a sense of harmony. Um, I would say of all three I'm going to talk about today, to me, this is definitely the most relaxing, calming, comforting type scent. I've always loved this one for like the bedroom or the bathroom. Very, very almost um, body care-esque. I know they have it in body care, but of all of them, it's just kind of a body care, warm, kind of type, you know, fragrance. I absolutely love it. Don't let the patchouli in the name deter you. It's not 100% full on patchouli. I think the vanilla really kind of mellows it out. Beautiful scent. I do have the wallflower of this and I get kind of wafts of it. It's not the strongest wallflower by any means, nor is the candle. That's the one thing I remember about burning this in the past. I would say in the open concept, and as you can see, I've burned it a few times and I don't know if this is going to show up on here. The uneven wax on that, that is totally my fault. I didn't have any issues with the burn on it other than, you know, the lack of throw. Um, I just extinguished it too quickly and thought the wax was cooled when it wasn't when I moved it. But I would say in an open concept, this is going to get totally lost. And that's the one thing I did forget. I do wish they could maybe make like a um, in high intensity or a... Um, a little bit stronger version of this. You know how they have the mahogany teakwood and then the high intensity version. If they came out with a high intensity version of this, that'd be great because then you could use it in a large room. If you do this in like an open concept or living room vaulted ceiling type situation, it's going to get lost. I had it going out in our open concept and I would say throw wise one to 10, 10 of course being super crazy strong. It was like a three maybe. I could smell it if I got near it, but it, it was very lost. But in the bedroom slash bathroom, however, it, it fills the room. And it's one of those scents that's not an in-your-face scent. It's kind of like a backdrop, lighter, um, very, very warm, just cozy scent. The name Comfort is very, very fitting. I love this fragrance. Would I buy this again? Yes, absolutely I would. I love that they have the candle and wallflower out. I hope they bring back the soap. They used to have the soap in this. Very, very pretty fragrance. Um, if you guys have tried it, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts on Comfort are. I would love to see them carrying the soap in this. Um, and I believe they had the room spray at one point. I didn't see it this go around. If you guys, 
if they do carry it, comment down below. I'm curious, but um, I would love to see the soap come back in this because having this with like the coordinating room spray and soap and wallflower in the bathroom, I'm telling you, is amazing. Really pretty fragrance. So that's my absolute favorite is Comfort. And if you guys are interested in the body care, I do have a review above the body care in this from like a year ago. So you'll have to search through my um, channel, but I do have it up. And then I'm going to go in strength order here. I did review this one very recently for Valentine's Day because I felt it was very fitting. And that is none other than Love Rose Vanilla. I have been burning this one a little bit more, so I was able to kind of get a little bit better feel for the fragrance. I do not know if they have wallflowers out in Love Rose Vanilla. This came out last year, um, I believe probably about exactly a year ago, right in the spring or pre-spring passed up on it. So this is my first season using Love Rose Vanilla. I really, really like it. It's a really pretty, sorry, I don't know if that's focusing. It's a, I love the packaging, by the way. Very pretty fragrance. A lot of times with rose scents, you either get a very, very fresh rose scent that's like fresh, greenery, you know, clean rose, or you'll get one that's almost like a super powdery, super perfumey rose fragrance. I like both. I kind of err more on the side of I prefer the powdery type fragrances, but this is right down the middle. It's not completely powdery and perfumey, but it's also not like a crisp, clean, fresh cut rose. I'd say it's almost just like a rose water mixed with a very warm, calming vanilla fragrance. Let me read you the notes. So rose oil, and it says it evokes feelings of connection and self-confidence, and vanilla extract encourages relaxation. I would say of the fragrances I'm gonna talk about today, the Comfort Vanilla Patchouli is probably the most relaxing. To me, this is, it's not clean cut fresh rose type scent to where it's fresh and I guess super bright, but it's also not like a calming powdery scent. So to me, I, I don't think of complete comfort and cozy when I think of this. I just think of like a nice fresh spring, little bit of a warmth type fragrance. Very, very pretty. I've been burning this in the open concept. It does have a really good throw. Um, I would say one to 10, 10 of course being super crazy strong. It's in the mid range. It's at about a seven, seven and a half, which for a lighter rose vanilla scent, I was very impressed with. And then in like the bedroom, bathroom, you're obviously gonna get a really good throw. Would I repurchase this one again? I probably would next season. I'm not going to go out and grab another one for this spring just because I already have a few pink petal tea cakes. I have some Yankee candles that are rose. I have salt mist rose and um, it's going to take a while to burn down on. I would use this again next spring. I do like it. I think it's very pretty and I think it would blend very nicely with pink petal tea cake. It would blend nicely with pretty much any other floral fragrance. Um, I enjoy it. I like it. I, I still have yet to pair it with any of my other rose scents to see, but I feel like you could blend it with other fragrances. So that is Love Rose Vanilla right there. And then this is my second favorite. Comfort's my number one, but this is my number two favorite from Aromatherapy. And that is none other than Relax, which is Lavender Cedarwood. I remember when this came out, I saw lavender and cedarwood and I thought, oof, they got rid of lavender vanilla for this. Ugh, I don't like that at all. I thought the cedarwood would be way too masculine, way too over the top woodsy, and it's not, at least to me. It's very much a herbaceous lavender. It's not a soft, sweetsy type lavender, but the cedarwood isn't over the top either. It says it includes lavender oil, which inspires tranquility, and then cedarwood oil, which helps calm your mind. I would say that this is certainly one of those calming, relaxing fragrances, more so than the rose, um, probably on par with the comfort. Great bedroom scent, bathroom scent. I had this in the open concept, you guys. This is strong. Of all three, this is the strongest one. One to 10, I would say this is like at a solid nine. It's gotta be a solid nine if not maybe a little bit more, the second you light it up, you just have this intense herbaceous lavender scent with a little bit of the warmth from the cedar wood. Really, really beautiful. I don't remember if they had wallflowers when this originally came out. I didn't see any in store as of recently, so I've just been using regular lavender vanilla wallflowers to pair with this. 
I would love to see them come out with a full collection again of these. I think they had the soap, the room spray when they first launched. I would certainly buy this again. And this is kind of a staple type scent. So this one and the Comfort are the two I'll probably grab more often than the Rose. But um, I love a good lavender scent. And if you guys have not tried it, if you guys are fans of the, what was it? Lavender Woods is one that just came out this season. I have a review up of that. If you like Lavender Woods, and maybe that one's a little too woodsy for you, you might like Relax because it's a little more toned down on that woodsy note. It's about 50-50, 50% lavender, 50% cedar wood. Really beautiful fragrance, and boy, does it throw. So, you guys, that is it for today. I just wanted to hop on here and share some of my favorites with you. Comment down below. Let me know if you have used any of these fragrances. Let me know which ones are your favorite. And um, honestly, any of the aromatherapy lines. I would love, love, love to see them come out. I know they launched patchouli. Peppermint's been out for a while. I'm talking body care. Um, Lang Lang. There's a couple other aromatherapy body cares that they've launched. I would love to see them in candle form. Even if they did it for like a limited time, that would be really cool. I would love to try those out. Um, comment down below. I'm curious to see if you guys would try those out if they brought those out. Now, you guys, before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.